Imagine all the abundance you can receive when you free yourself from insecurities, habits, and old stories. Here we go. Well, you better stay here. Stay here. Okay. Hey guys, it's Iris here with another video. And this video is certainly just about one of the most important videos that I probably will ever make. Something that I have noticed is, is that my video about living in my car and living like a minimalist has been um, the most watched newest video that I have. That says a lot actually. That says that there's a lot of people searching for this and I'm not even a big channel as of yet, right? He said there are a lot of people trying to look into a different way of living and looking into living more wholeheartedly. My intentions have been to have some sort of breakthrough and only accept money and make money in ways that are of integrity to me. That has meant no money chasing, no borrowing, no leeching off anyone. Just completely live this experience with integrity and let the universe guide me. And so far, here are 10 things that I have learned from my five month mark on this amazing journey of living out of my car. Here we go. Number one is the way that we make money is outrageously fucked up. We are constantly thinking that once we reach a certain number in our bank account, that once we buy a certain car, once we get the job, once we get the apartment, then we are going to relax. Then we're going to give ourselves permission to have fun. We will be able to feel worthy, ask the girl out. We'll be able to just be confident and give ourselves the ability to feel loved, to feel free. By saying that money equals freedom, what you're really saying is that you are not free. And this is what the point of this journey has been all about, to actually find my own personal freedom. Which brings me to number two. If you find yourself in the same cycle that I was in, which is working my ass off and still kind of coming up with the same amount of money, um, the same amount of money, it could be different for everybody. It doesn't matter if you make 100K, a million. If you're coming up with the same amount of money, by working your ass off, then that is the problem. Is because you're working hard for something. So that thing becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy where you have to work hard to achieve something. There is a new way of making money and that is actually gonna take me to later on. Number three has actually been the most challenging because I've had to deal with people's pity and uh, reactions and that's where my give a fuck meter was starting to kind of go off. But that is actually me trying to release as well old stories. The old story for me was feeling misunderstood. Guess fucking what? I had to go through the story of feeling misunderstood. At the same time, those people have no idea how free I am as a human being. I wake up at whatever time I want to wake up. I am as creative as I want to be. I relax as much as I want to relax. Um, I let things come to me. I don't have much responsibilities. And more than anything, I love myself and I'm just connecting with all that is. At first it was a little bit difficult because I feel like I am this psychic millennial who is constantly trying to help people, who's constantly looking into the future, who's constantly understanding other people's energies. But here I am feeling completely misunderstood, which is an old story of mine that I had to face and I had to understand that whatever pity people project on me has nothing to do with me. At the end of the day, I'm healthy, I'm satisfied, I'm creative and I'm free. Free before the money, free while making money and free after it if it's if it's if it has come or gone <laughs> if you really want to be ahead in life if you want to be an entrepreneur you're gonna have to face yourself one way or another this is the way that I'm facing myself and this is the way that I've been able to create my freedom and I'm super okay with that this brings me to number four which is there is a new way of making money and that is from authenticity it's not from sales strategies is not from just going to school and getting an education unless you want to be somebody else's bitch but is really from authenticity and you know what we all know that nowadays people that are authentic are people that are magnetic and you can say that this is what i've been working for this whole time number five is actually the world is a lot safer than you think 
Oh my fucking god, there is so many news and everybody and their grandmother when they found out that I'm living out of my car, they send me messages and there's all these news about uh, buildings burning and there's news about getting, you know, mugged and robbed and, and getting raped and all these disgusting brutalities. But guess what? That is not how the world works. The world is this beautiful, serene place and you have to put yourself in situations that take you into danger. The funny thing about this is that everybody thought that I was gonna, that I am putting myself into danger and I'm actually putting myself into nature. Ding, ding, do you see that switch? I'm putting myself into nature. I'm putting myself into all that is. I'm putting myself into a moment of silence and connecting with me and connecting with my true desires. And yeah, that can make people feel uncomfortable because I can also see how people wish they would do these things and they don't take the plunge and do it. We carry so much fear and insecurity in our system that is obvious why it is that we don't go after the things that we continue to change the iPhones 11s and all the newest cars and all the newest computers and laptops and the newest shoes. We continue to chase those things. We continue to take pictures in these beautiful lavish places when we go back to our tiny tiny little apartments or we go and get ourselves a Lexus or a Mercedes when we barely have the credit for it. That is all based on fear and insecurity, things that are being passed down. And the truth is, is that God's got your back so much more than you think. Like you have to put yourself in a shitty situation for things, for bad things to happen to you. Oh yeah, and nobody fucks with me when I'm sleeping, by the way. In my car, I sleep eight hours or more. Like I get a good night's sleep when I'm in my car and nobody fucks with me. And some people even know that I'm sleeping in there and nobody gives a shit. Okay, number six is, I have to read it because it's kind of long, but number six is when you get rid of all your responsibilities, your true talents and your true creative gifts and even billion dollar ideas can arise. And that is exactly what I've done for myself. Um, I just didn't want to do it like everybody else. I don't want to work corporate like everybody else. I don't want to work in a wellness center and get promoted and like everybody else. Putting myself in a situation where I'm constantly in silence because that's another thing. I don't really play that much music. I'm in silence most of the time. I get to listen to myself, my thoughts. I get to be with myself. I get to learn to love myself. I get to learn to fall in love with my situation, to be happy, to be here, to connect with other people. Because that's another thing, I get to talk to a lot of people and that gets actually tiring. So you end up actually really enjoying the moments that you have with yourself. All because I decided to completely focus on my creativity and my creativity has been my business and the way that I make videos, the way that I want to structure things. I wake up and I'm just like, okay, what do I want to say today? How I want to write it? Some days it's super easy and actually, you're seeing the sunset because today was kind of a hard day. I couldn't get the, the, these thoughts together. And then towards the end I did, so I decided to just film this right now. Number seven is actually a carrier to number six, and it says that most people won't do this, won't do number six, which is open space for their creativity and their, um, their talents to flow because we care too much about what others think. I mean, most people will humble themselves because that's really what it is. I completely humbled myself. I am kind of living some, like other people's worst nightmare, right? I'm living other people's worst nightmare. That's why I make people feel uncomfortable. Most people won't give themselves the liberty to be creative. Okay, number eight is your addictions are attached to old stories. And your addictions is not just like smoking cigarettes and doing drugs. Your addictions are your addictive behaviors, okay? Like being on the phone too much, having a bunch of subscriptions, you know, having the latest Netflix and the, the highest subscription, um, having YouTube and Netflix and this and HBO, and those are your addictions. Food is an amazing, huge, fucked up addiction that we have. And those addictions are attached to old stories that you carry, unfortunately, because of mommy, because of daddy, because you were selected the last person in your football team and you said to yourself that that is never gonna happen to you again. And so you want to achieve all this. Yes, they are the ones that are attached to your old stories, those little tiny addictive behaviors. And they're the ones that keep you repeating the same money over and over again. Because when you make that much, when you make enough or more than normal, we have to 
use it and use it and use it and we always come back to the same number because that's what feels safe and what makes you use it and use it and use it are all your addictive behaviors that are trying to splurge and trying to take that picture trying to be all cool and trying to pretend okay number nine is your body is the most amazing machine that has ever been created on this earth probably with the other animals because other animals are just as perfect your body knows everything your body always knows the next step and we are constantly in justification of why it is that we don't listen to our bodies whenever you feel like you have to justify why it is that you're not making a decision whether it is to leave a job whether it is to ask a raise or is to ask somebody out that is you or your mind justifying an old story but not listening to your body and your body knows so much more like I started this because I healed myself of chronic pain and I did not want to go back to the system. So what I did is that I let my pain and I still let my pain every day guide me into what it is that it needs. It's not chronic anymore, it's much better, but it still guides me into what my deepest needs are. Imagine doing that without pain. Imagine just feeling what feels right for you and then go ahead and doing it. I mean, I think we would be in a really beautiful, perfect world. And number 10, last but not least, is if you want to change the world, if you want to change your circumstances, if you know you have something big to give to the world, if you know you want to break through in some way, you have to be willing to be weird. That is just really what it is. Like, I thought that I was going to like commit career suicide. I thought that my life I don't know if my life was over, but I, I definitely thought, like, I was very concerned. I was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm being guided to do this thing, but I don't feel that right about it. Like, I do, because I feel like that's, that's what my intuition is telling me, but I'm like, damn, how is that gonna reflect in my life? And I said, you know what, you're a leader. You're a fucking leader. I have to do something weird. I have to get weird. I have to just, just eradicate what, what's gonna happen here. This is why I'm doing this. This is how I know that I am on the path because you have to be willing to be weird. You wanna make more money in life? You have to be willing to be weird. It doesn't matter, guys, if you make 100K, if you make 10, if you make you know, 1 million, if you're coming up with the same amount of money, if you are coming home and you're not satisfied and all you're doing is thinking of what is the next iPhone so I can buy it, and then spending your money, like blowing it off on, on clubs and then coming back to work and then hating your job again or just feeling so content I mean there's so much more than life can give you just give yourself the ability to be silent and give yourself the ability to be weird and I think the answers really start to come out little by little and they all shine through I think a lot of the things that I'm saying today are things that maybe you already know but I feel like more than ever I have learned and I feel more grounded towards and I can't wait for my next chapter. But at the end of the day guys, I'm letting myself be guided to this but I do have a timing where I would like to stop. However, it all depends on how I'm doing. If I'm feeling super happy and I know that I'm building towards something then I'm probably gonna continue doing it. Um, if I feel like I've already learned everything I needed to learn and I kind of want to settle down and be grounded into one space, into a four walls, that's another thing. I can't be in my friends' places for too long because I feel confined. It's so funny, but I love it. So honestly, I mean, I'm just letting myself be guided and I think you guys should too. Um, I, I feel new projects coming in and I'm so excited, but honestly, I'm just taking my life day by day and I'm just doing whatever my body tells me that day and that's fucking it I see more synchronicities I see so much more magic and that's what keeps me going so anyways guys love you and um, if you have any questions just put them in the comments like subscribe and share if you really like this video and I'll catch you guys next time Mwah.